Hi, welcome to this tarot love reading. My name's Sophia, welcome to this community. So, I didn't post yesterday, but I still feel the energy of the same thing with the uh, Divine Feminine, about still kind of, hmm, let's call it standing in their power, still um, Still, I feel very much that uh, most of you have going to meet someone else. And there's two reasons for that. So that you notice... I don't know how to put it, so I'm going to have to explain this situation. You meet a twin flame, and generally most people base relationships out of tradition, religion, television. So there's a feminine that says, I want flowers, chocolates, to be engaged, to live together, to have kids within three years, I want to see your family, all this kind of stuff, right? The dog, the picket fence. And then, but that's so much pressure on these fake relationships. You have these kids, you get married, and everyone stays together, and then you fall out of love, and then you have kids, and then you just stay together, all this kind of nonsense. Right. So the contract part of that is to, well, first of all, narrow down what you really want. So what the feminine does is does without when they meet their twin flame, without doing work, proper counseling and then narrowing it down so that you get to do what you really want to do. So you become less and less of kind of a priority when it comes to your person because they don't really take you out. If you hear in someone saying, my twin flame and me and him, I've had one client book me. He says, we go to the pub and we go on holidays. I was like, uh, uh, that's not your twin flame, <laughs> right? That's not your twin flame. They don't do stuff like that. And I'm saying now, then when they, you get together, right, that's when it like they start to recognize that they're missing out on their life, on the stuff that you want to do. So first of all, you have to pull back all that crap and narrow it down. For example, say you want to go cinema, ice skating, um, uh, climb, climb mountains, uh, all this kind of, I don't know, right, loads of stuff. And then you narrow it down, okay, I only want to do what I really want to do, which most of you don't even know what you really want to do. you just like, let's just go out and do all this stuff because your relationships are shit, so you just do loads of stuff. So you narrow it down to what you really want to do, right? Then you're supposed to tell your twin flame what you really want to do. Then your person then should be like, yeah, okay, then, uh, because what they do is they, the woman wants too much, man or woman, and the masculine don't do anything. They just focus on work on their kids. Then you narrow it down and they're like, yeah, actually, I do deserve to go out and have a little break or to go to the cinema or to go for a meal because they don't really do that with that relationship they're with anyway. So it creates some balance. I have to spit it all out how to explain it. But what happens is you meet your person, you're so overwhelmed because we're the cups, we're the emotions of how amazing, how much we really fancy them, how we're really into them and all this kind of stuff. So we slack on giving, uh, um, have it, doing anything. We're not going to restaurants, we're not going holidays, we're not the, meeting a family, we're not doing any of that stuff. And why I'm going into that, because this divine time is about two reasons of why you're meeting someone else. So first of all, you can then see, because this new person, I promise you, will show you how easy it is for a man, right, man or woman, for a man to then say, listen, I, I, I of course I've had relationships when I've split up with baby's mums, baby's dad. You'll be like, what? Yeah. She rings me and asks me for money all the time. I tell her, fuck off, right? What? <laughs> right? Don't you complain about you with your your girlfriends? No, it's none of her business, and I tell her that. Of course, of course, um, I've uh, you can see my family. In fact, in two months is my sister's wedding, right? Maybe don't come to the wedding, but you can come to the after party and have a couple of drinks if we're still together, right? Is my best friend Sarah Louise's thing next week? You're in the local pub, you can pop in and just say hi. You're like, what? It's been 18 billion years and I don't even see the man's kids know or heard. I wouldn't even know what his, 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 his mum looks like. This is what this time is. So you have two choices. 
because he's putting the choices back into the, the divine feminine. So you'll meet this new person and you'll be like, fuck off to inflame. This is easy, <laughs> right? This one's nice. It's easy. It's not a twin flame, right? Because twin flame ain't going to do this stuff which this person's saying, right? That's why I'm saying it ain't twin flame. But I've really, that's why I went into the spill at the beginning so that you know why they don't do it. Because if I just started with this, you'll be like, yeah, why don't twin flames do it? It's a contract. Part of the contract. So you either say, oh, fuck off, twin flame. Yeah, I've been long enough. With your excuses, I don't want to do it anymore. I've got this one here, and he's quite fine. She's quite fine, thank you very much. I'll do with this. Because right? we're feminines. If someone's coming, uh, if you fancy someone, <laughs> have you heard of the, the, what men will say if a woman, a pretty woman, is dating someone who they class as ugly, what would they say, that stupid line, oh, we must have a big dick? No. It's more to do with, I bet you he fucking romanced the fuck out of that woman. That's why, right? He's got big dick or loads of money. I'm telling you, if I have someone more uglier, right, that romances me, uh, surprises me, brings me gifts, remembers birthdays, and all this kind of stuff, someone you fancy, that, that would, you can forget that. Yeah, that will slide. That will slide, right? So that's this. So you've got the choice of either going with this new one or... Second choice. All right, twin flame, right? You're slow as fuck. We don't do jack shit. Step the fuck up. That's what's going on now, basically, right? Even if you haven't met anyone, it's making you recognize now the divine feminines that you can get more. What you're asking for is normal stuff, normal relationship stuff right regardless but the thing like i said there's a there's a there's a balance of you might ask for too much stupidness which is unnecessary like your person oh i really want you to meet my best friends i've known my best friends from childhood but you chat to me as a counselor i'll say you like her does she support you does she support your twin flame does she support you with your sexual abuse your abandonment and stuff like that you, you'll be like no but she's a bit of pain she rings me all the time she always wants me to go out when I don't want to. So what do you want? You know, that's what this is. You've got to narrow it down to what you really want. And then you come to your partner with it. So there's a, it's a, it's a fine. Hence, you need counselling. Don't forget the big boy programs, two of them. Two of them. Master program, twin flame program, sexual, ma uh, did say that? sexual mastery, master twin flame. Pick a website's got all the information. Pick two of them. And then you get, uh, uh, if you book a counselling ses session. Anyway, let's jump into the cards, because that's kind of long. So I'm getting the same energy. No more waiting. Still taking your power back. But like I said, some of you might not even bother with your twin flame. You, you, these new ones coming in. Or, like I said, you have choices. Or do the mentorship, right? This is your person. Getting stabbed in the back, but it ain't stabbed in the back, it's a first source. <laughs> and I was just saying that, getting stabbed in the back, but it's not. But anyway, let's see. Ten of swords here. It's like they're stabbing himself in the back. Now, ah, that's what it is. It's like, as I'm always saying, you are a crutch for your person. What they don't understand is that I've got to say it like this, and I've just got to say, say it, right? Or try it anyway. It's like baby's mum's baby's dad controlled them. That's what the, it is. And they're like, I don't like this control. So what I'm going to do is control you, all right? I'm going to go out with you and keep you hidden, right? And do fuck all with you and not pay fuck all on you because this person's controlling me. That's not right. So when you fuck off, this ten of swords, because I'm like, of course it's not you giving them the ten of swords, because you fucked off. Now they're realizing they're trapped. 
this three of swords, ten of swords, your person. It's like bush in your face now of your reality, what you are not prepared to deal with. You cannot manipulate other people because it's extreme now. That's what this universe is saying. Okay, we'll give you your twin flame so that you come out of this situation and the divine feminine, you that's watching, make sure the uh, divine masculine, and they normally trigger you to heal. You hear that, right? You lot don't fucking heal. But you're supposed to trigger you to do all this healing. So it's a win-win for both of you when you meet. You don't fucking heal, they don't leave the third party. So it's like, well, okay, so all they're doing is using you as a crutch. And it's not fair, so the universe is like, bush, we've got to cut that off. And the reason why you're getting someone else, a couple of reasons, because like I said, they're not doing, they're not making the changes. And two, the divine feminines just kept waiting, waiting, waiting. Because they feel so tight. So they're bringing in someone, so you cut the tie, you that's watching, right? So now, they will be over there, okay, I'm in a shit, back to the shitty marriage, back to the working billion hours just to pay for the kids, just for doing this, you know, I mean, they love the kids and everything, but it's so much more when they have you on the side. Now it's, it's just, well, this is my life. That's what they need to realize. Ten of swords, three of swords. That's what I'm getting. Empress, I feel this is you now, just nurturing yourself. And starting afresh, page of pentacles of looking for something, look, uh, yeah, starting looking for something new. Nurturing yourself and looking out for someone else to get married to, settle down with. Pentacles. Fuck ones. Nah. Don't want to twiddle no more, so they are. No. Give me something practical, something that's real, tangible, not talk, not that, something I can feel, something that's physical, right? Not just talking, right? That's what you want, page of pentacles, this is you. And that's nurturing you, that's why I'm saying to you that I don't feel twin flames are getting back. Because the physical of having someone turning up with flowers, the physical fucking flowers, nurtures you. As much as your twin flame coming over and healing you, but it's contra, it's con, I don't know the word. It's momentarily. No more momentarily love, permanent love. Because when your person's there, it's kind of like they fill you up, right? But because of if that's in that moment when they're there, when they fuck off, the, and the majority of time, and then as soon as they go, they're back to the third party, they're back to the codependent relationship of, oh, okay, well, I'm not just going to put... And I, look, I'm not cussing out your person when they have the kids in situation, because that's a hard situation, because I've been there. But it comes a time, right, that they must realise it's controlling. And yes, it's my kids, but it's controlling. So either I have no fucking life, it's not for me to then control someone else because of this person's controlling me. It's not supposed to be, right? It comes to a point that they need to learn that. And if they don't, right, that's you, you're going to get married somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, you're holding back. You're not having it. This was creating the heartbreak. You, my friend, you holding back and just creating heartbreak. And it's because of their 2, 3D, they're doing it the 3D way, which means that they're staying in that religious tradition, religion way of, well, I've got to show up for the kids. Well, I've got to stay with the marriage. Well, I can't really blah, blah, blah. Well, they will take the kids away from me. And this is what I feel you lot saying. So what? Not my problem. Stay over there and deal with it, right? That's what this is. The star is about, yeah, you, this is about you going back to the feminine's healing and going for their wish come true. I've always said it depends how long you've followed me. I don't like the empress. The empress is soulmatey. But this is now because you're attracting someone who's not a twin flame. So the empress is right to come out and he's reading. It's kind of healing stars empress is what kind of what you are attracting the star seed slash empress like i said it's not a soulmate but it's not a twin flame either these two cards kind of explain what you're getting 
and that's what you are. You can't take out that you're a twin flame because you're not with your twin flame. So you're still a twin flame, but you can't attract a twin flame because you're already doing it and they're not coming towards you and you're not healing. So you're getting like the emperor or the empress because you're healing your way. Your way of healing is that way now. This is the new way forward for starseed light workers. That's what I feel was coming in. Eight of Cups is yeah, you're you're walked, you're walking away. You're walking away from this star seed, this proper wish come true, and all this kind of thing. You've walked away from that. You're doing it a bit different. You're walking away from the Eight of Cups with the emotional fulfillment. You're looking more for the uh, practicality way of well, lot long run stability and stuff like that, right? This is taught you that before you might have married and had kids with someone just because. This is teaching you, well, actually, um, I can have someone I'm, I can marry and settle down with who I actually just love, right? Because the Eight of Cups goes to the Two of Cups. And I said to you that waffle in the beginning was is now choices in your hands. You're walking away from one situation, Eight of Cups, Two of cups is left, two, two of cups is love, which is two is choices in love. So you can choose if you're going to say to your twin flame, both of this, start again and we're getting married. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get married. You know, it's going to lead to marriage. I want the family, whatever this. But I want something I can see, really see, practical, physical, right? That's what you're starting. And that's, like I say, this reading is over with this new person's coming in. If you haven't got no one new coming in, that's fine, neither, neither have I. I've known people that have, but I haven't. But I did get to inflame number two, right? So it's just, it, it depends. But I still feel this energy of someone's there. Is This is changing. Put it this way, I'm stepping up and demanding more. I want things to change. I want our, mine and David relationship to change. So it doesn't matter if you're seeing someone new. You're st or the, put it this way, the divine feminine is stepping up. Anyway, right? You've got this feeling of you want your power back and that's the planets doing that for you. So don't think, oh, well, well, you'll know anyway. It's not about that. It's about like, yeah, you're open to change. It just depends. I, I keep getting that this new one is going to put the twin flame to shame. It's going to knock you to like, fuck me gently. I, I, in fact, this is how it's going to be when you meet your new person. You're going to be like, hey, your twin flame of, whoa, this is a bit fast, right? But it ain't fast. I'll tell you what it is. It's normal. Say, for example, you meet this new person and they say, well, go for a drink or two. Because when you meet someone and you like them, you want to generally meet them the next fucking day. Not, okay, we'll see you next month, right? You generally, oh, wow, I really enjoyed that. I'll, I want to see them in a day or two. It's natural. So you're going to get someone who's going to say, can I meet you in a couple of days, right? And you're like, what? Right? Then you meet them in a couple of days, and they so what would you like to do? Let's go for a meal. Or they turn up with flowers. Is this going to shock you of what you've been less with with your person? I promise you, your new person. And like I said, the Eight of Cups. So you're either going to leave your twin flame and say, this is fucking amazing, right? I want this, because they're going to shock you with how much you're getting, or you're going to say, fuck you, twin flame, I've been getting shit, nothing, right, I want more, and the reason why you can say that is because you're feeling, or you've got someone else confident that you can have more, because I keep saying in this reading, the universe is showing you what you're asking for, if you've done the healing work, it's normal, right it's normal and it nurtures you that's why this contract is happening that's why august is so important it's like the contract when you're in a contract and you choose right they know how dark this planet is 
and you can be manipulated and stay dark, they won't keep you suffering. So the divine feminine keeps waiting and feeling trapped. So they're cutting off that point. And that the reason why this is coming, so you can see it, then you will disconnect. Eight of Cups. Because if no one else came in, you'll just keep waiting for your twin flame. So that's why this is happening. But it's still giving you the choice to choose to go back with them because you will know, you will know that what you're asking for is not overboard. And that's for the, that your person then to learn the lesson. People pleasing, yep. And that's what your person's doing. You do it as well because of this, the healing cards here as well, right? You, you do it as well. You're still people pleasing, right? But this is a... Okay. Go back to this. <laughs> Sometimes, very rare, they give me messages for myself connected to the reading. And I think, shall I explain it? And they say no, because no, most of them ain't doing what I'm doing. So it's just connected with me. Okay, with the people pleasing, most of this is based around people pleasing. You didn't heal fully to do the work with a star card because you people please. Oh, I'm worried about people, what they will say if I want to get with my twin flame and I want to do this and I want to do that, right? You people please. And then your person is people pleasing. I don't know the work, the tradition, the religion, the baby's mum, the baby's dad, they're people pleasing. And it doesn't matter. This, it's, there's, this planet is, we are about the, it's, the, it's a free will experience. That's what this... Co that's what this contract is. The free will. And they have to... Is this the newer generation? They can't just text in one text. It's two free texts, right? <laughs> it's my son. Anyway, this is about... Um, yeah, you... Uh, people pleasing. I don't want, don't want to walk all over. Both, of, both sides people please. The feminine don't do the full healing because they're people pleasing. Oh, well, no, Sophia, I'm a spiritual person. Oh, yeah, because you're doing Reiki acupuncture. You're doing stuff that maybe your mum and dad will accept. But doing real healing, sexual abuse, can you go to your parents and say, listen, I'm healing, I'm doing sexual abuse. No, I'm doing Reiki. Oh, that's different. So that your mum can go to her friends. My Sarah Louise is doing Reiki. Isn't that different? No, tell her you're doing sexual abuse. Tell her when you, you know, when dad kept going traveling the world and you just put up with it, right? Or when he cheated on you or slapped you or beat you bad. And I saw all that, all the arguments I saw, I'm going to do healing on that, right? That's this. So you didn't go towards and do what you're supposed to do. So you people please, and your person is over there people pleasing their parents, staying in a religion, the, the baby's mum by not coming towards you, people pleasing. This is the free will contract, the free will experience, to teach people not to, like I always say with my daughter, 11 years that fucker controlled me. 11 fucking years before I said enough. So I understand the masculines, but I didn't have some fit fucking, if David come to me, if I met David years ago, and my ex-husband was controlling me with my daughter, and I was, uh, and he was puppeteering me like that, I think I would have left earlier. I would have went to court earlier. I would have quit the job earlier. Do you see what I mean? My business, because I was giving him all my money. 11 years, it just came to me, and it's like, 11, no wonder, right, she 11 years, everything's synchronistic, right, she was 11, which 11, twin flame, part of the path, divine timing, I was like, no, no more, no more, are you just taking all my money, I'm just working for free, and you're puppeteering me, no more, right, that's what they, and I knew, I knew she was going to take, he was going to take my daughter, but this plan, I need to be free. What? He'll just control me forever? That's the choice, right? That's the choice. It's a horrible choice, and you can't make them choose it. But if you, they have other options, and that's what you're there for, to show them you can have another life. 
right? Or you two can work together and get a solicitor to get your children. But don't have it as a sideline. That's what this is about. Because you're still people pleasing. But if they don't, then they go back to the same old shit. That's up to them, right? Let's close this out. Do the mentoring if you're tight fuck and you don't want to pay for the counselling. I hurt you because it was easier than to tell you the truth. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm going to pull out these cards anymore. Because all I'm getting is I don't care. Right? And I mean that. Like, whatever your person is saying to you, that's why I keep feeling the twin flames are not getting back together. Because every time I'm pulling out my cards of answers from the hidden realm, of the bullshit excuse of what your person's saying, that's what I keep getting. You're just thinking of it as like, oh, a bullshit excuse. I don't care anymore. Right? It needs to change or I'm out, right? Because how many times are going to keep hurting you for not telling them the truth? I just keep getting that when I'm pulling out my cards. I focus on money as I have nothing to offer you. Once again, I don't care, right? <laughs> that's, that's all I'm getting, right? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. You married her, whatever, didn't you? So why can't we get married with this card here? That's it. Uh, uh, wow. What's this one about? I know you can't really see them. They look plain, but let me see. I know we are twin flames. This is the contract back in their ass. Because I, I think I said it on my last video. There's them like, all right, you go, right? I always say, and I, say, I, I stayed with David, and I tried, and I worked on myself, and done all that, and every time he said something, and I went back, and I thought about it, and I thought, yeah, maybe I don't really need flowers, maybe I don't really need to see his family, his kids, what's that got to do with me, and I worked on it, and I worked, and I thought, yeah, it's true, right, I've done that, because I wanted to see him so much, right, this time now, it's like, um, well, now, it's like, okay, well, now it's time to change, I don't feel so much about, yeah, I needed to, to see him, I needed to see him, the fools come back. And this is now, like I say, with your person going more into the twin flame side of it. Because you've pulled back. So that they learn to appreciate you. They learn to step up. They learn to compromise. Because, like I said, I've done all the compromises now. Now that's for them to do the compromise. Because you don't hear me say that, that, oh, listen, I just chill with David just because I need to see his fine ass. I used to say that. You just got to meet. I don't say that anymore, right? I don't say that anymore. I'm like, now we need to compromise and do it more equal now. That's what it's about. I used to, say, I used to go just get his ass, chase his ass, do all that kind of thing. Contract's different. They are now knowing your twin flame. I already know it's the twin flame. Right? They are now knowing it. you're the twin flame. All right, I'm going to leave that there, see who the answer is texting me. Counseling or the mentoring? Speak to you later.